think about uh, so let's use Andrew Tate as the example yeah. of what of what I'm really getting yeah. at here. Okay, so we were talking about this off air, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna just bring it back up because I think we were onto yeah. something that was really interesting. So, you, so his backstory is he was a professional fighter. He, you know, goes into the underworld and becomes. I think he said he started gambling, and then he got into uh, call, uh, not call girls, escort mm-hmm. uh, management, and also. Uh, cam girl yeah. uh, operations and things like that uh, and had probably some hands in other you know illegal rackets I'm sure right like there was probably other scams they were running yeah. internet bot farm they were they were they were scammers they were it's like all hand in hand yeah uh, they were like European kids that were on the internet and making you know you know little glitch kids <laughs> finding glitches yeah. and and making money you know I think that was a, a big part of their early start right mm-hmm. so Okay, I'm gonna accept that 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 is could be mostly realistic. true. Yeah, I'm gonna skip the big one of the bigger points. That's an easy point because I want to go for the hard stuff. Yeah. The easy point that people will point to is that his father was uh, intelligence mm-hmm. or, or worked in intelligence, right? Yeah. I'm gonna skip that one. That doesn't that one doesn't even matter to me. I don't need that to prove my my point. My point is, uh, he's making what he would say, and let's pretend like he's embellishing. Mm-hmm. So. He was saying he was making, you know, millions of dollars a week. Yeah. Right. Let's say he was making three hundred thousand dollars a week. Let's just make it realistic. Yeah. For a conversation's sake. You're telling me he was making even that amount and he never got hit for tax evasion. He never got invested. He never got audited. Once. One and time. Literally it literally like wasn't even a blip on a radar. And then he's just it's like there's no there's no process. The process we heard about came after he was already right here, right? He's just there, like you said, making all that money, doing all these things. Yeah, I'm still like, and I'm glad you're clarifying, like, I'm not even talking about him now. I'm yeah. talking about, I'm trying to judge his legitimacy or the legitimacy of his story of course. based on what he said yeah. about himself, right? So like, he, and also the this guy that he rolls with, uh, Tristan Tate, that's also a, a guy that's clearly an actor. That's not, not his brother. brother. He's got facial reconstruction. <laughs> that's not say that, bro. bro like, are you serious, bro? There ain't no. F- there's absolutely no shot. I no. don't like. Are you kidding me? But anyways, they, uh, but getting back to my other mm-hmm. the original evidence point. Yeah. of that this is fake is that um, you you actually this is evidence that you were telling me his media training. Th- this is the biggest giveaway. Is like okay. Never had formal education or train, or, yeah, training, mm-hmm. um, in any way out of a university. Never worked for like a large firm. Never had exposure to white collar professionalism. He's he's apparently this street guy that just made his yeah. way with his fists. And, dead broke, yeah, no money, right? Dead broke, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, and the, <laughs> oh my god, these fucking fakers, it's crazy. bro. Anyway, <laughs> okay. So I'm just following this through line. Uh, he was he he's saying that wait so he's saying that he's this street tough and all this stuff and somehow he can get on to the biggest talk shows and pro- media productions dom like we're talking about that like national news he was on multiple and, different and channels. people say he was a professional fighter i can hear people like you're such a dumbass. Yeah. Hey, what, are you off, stupid? Off, 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 off. Yeah. I've seen plenty of professional fighters who cannot do an interview for their fucking life. So you're telling me we just happened, and I'll and I'll grant you this yeah. that that yeah. your premise requires that he happened to be the one in a million fighter that's somehow also the most articulate guy in the world. Okay, sure, sure, we'll give fine. you that. Th- that's fine. Okay. Back to the tax thing. <laughs> Yeah, it probably just doesn't happen that way. So now he's in Romania, right? Mm-hmm. His story goes that he was in the UK and the UK was so shitty that he was in Romania. But then but then he says this, the, he does this other thing where he starts to obfuscate where he was actually living. Like yes. he would talk about where he visits, has locations, mm-hmm. houses, and, you know, he gets on the jet all the time. Okay, sure, sure. Um, also, that's that's some fucking great transportation routes you've got those are some those jets that you have that are 50 million dollars each yeah that you have gassed all the time waiting on the tarmac for you all the time every time those must be some of the most skilled efficient pilots you've never had nothing's ever gone wrong you've never heard him say he couldn't he's always just flying around never a problem he can always rent the best supercar anywhere all the time okay 
sure, you've got plenty of money and you've got connections and, mm-hmm. you know, you're a with it guy. Okay, okay. It's just that sometimes, Dom, when people move in a way that seems almost magical, mm-hmm. fantasy. Yeah. What we've been learning, I feel like, in the past few years is that nine times out of ten, it is a fantasy. Yeah. It's not real. Jeffrey Epstein didn't just get a mansion in uh, yeah. in, in Manhattan that was worth $100 million. Like, th- th- when people say it, they just accept it, but it's absurd. And no Beyond. one called. No one called it right. Yeah. So that lie continued until you know it was it, uh, you know what happened eventually happened. But like when you look at it, uh, something like an Andrew Tate story, and you realize like these are so many things about this do not make any fucking sense. And I I either have to buy what you're saying. Yeah. Right. Because I don't really have any other information. And isn't that interesting too? It, is isn't that just so perfectly fitted? To this that is, narrative. This is the most Googled man in the world. He's supposed to have lived all over the, like, the United States and, uh, you know, Europe or mm-hmm. the UK at least. I need to see who, like, where all the people he grew up around are. Yeah, because, wh- like, aside from this, his supposed brother, who else have we seen? Who knew to him? To fact check or credit he's any not that claim old. he's made. He's not. He's not that old, yo. Like, where? Not, are they not even 40? No, they're not. Yeah. So, so it's like, and, and it's like, okay, you can have a couple of people come out of the woodwork, but I want to know when he said he was living in Chicago, when he said he was living in, I think, like some other Midwestern city. and Like they and knew then, nobody else besides the two of them? You can't pull me one person who could be like, yeah, I knew them back in the day, and they were like this, and their mom was like that. Mm-hmm. And, I, I'm just these people that are just cutouts, man. They they just have these backstories that have so many fantastic details. And I'm not saying that people can't do incredible things with right, their lives. Right. Of it's an, course, it's very possible. Even even if like up until the whole like you know uh, reinvention of Andrew Tate, his just his regular upbringing in life is incredible. He was a Nuts. kickboxer. Yeah, fucking dad was a chess star, like a chess master, grandmaster. That's an incredible, you yeah. know, backstory. But then when it gets into his personal life as a young man, post Flips. yeah, post him being a fighter, yeah, things st- start to not add up one after the other. And I want to get to to the other aspect of, of Andrew Tate that I think is is another big giveaway. I think that people like Andrew Tate give themselves away probably the most easily by recognizing that they truly are aware that they're playing a character yes at you, right because if you can accept it if you it's there's so much going on when it comes to people that are professionally trained at deception yeah. right or people who are i mean i know we were joking around earlier and saying that he was you know getting syringed into mm-hmm. getting a new personality but w- whatever process happened for him to become the entity called yeah. andrew tate um is something that requires almost your implicit acceptance. Yes. You have to accept that it's normal that a guy doesn't take his sunglasses off when he's talking to you indoors. Yeah. On, like we're accepting this character because any other person you would say, Hey, we're on national television. I'm about to do a really important interview with you. Do you mind taking your glasses off your sunglasses? That's off? simple. Right. But no one does that. You know who else people don't do that to? actors and rappers yeah because we are accepting that there is an act that they're playing and people can say and i can hear the people tearing this apart being like okay it's one thing to say that he's doing an act right but right. another thing to say that he's a you know intelligence agent i'm saying if the shoe fits yeah 